Well, let's turn our attention to Kevin Garnett. Uh, first of all, Jalen, did you get a chance to see the injury to, uh, to the big ticket last night? Yes, I did, and it allowed me to appreciate the, the power, the passion, and the explosiveness of an NBA player and the athlete for that matter. A non-contact injury going up for an alley-oop pass, mm -hmm. jumps a little awkward, and before you know it, it can be a big-time injury for the Celtics. So you, does that, uh, that was going to be my next question. Does that give you a little concern, the fact that it was a non-contact injury from your experience? That gives me a big-time concern. Trust me, for a guy that played 13 years in the NBA, when you wake up in the morning, your body hurts for no reason. You walk better on the basketball court and run better than you do actually when you're at home. So for him to get injured on a non-contact injury, I think it's a little bit more serious than everybody's letting on. Mm. And without Kevin Garnett, obviously they still have Ray Allen and still have Paul Pierce. But ultimately, it's a break for the Cleveland Cavaliers and possibly even the Orlando Magic yeah. who picked up Ray for Austin in the trade yesterday. Well, ESPN NBA analyst Jalen Rose, a former teammate of Amari Stoudemire, with those thoughts as well as thoughts on Kevin Garnett. Hey, Jalen, thanks for the insight. Thank you very much.